<laughs> Let's take a look at this. I thought <laughs> the beginning was really cute with the high five. <clears throat> and you're talking about some parts potentially being too long, some things a bit too fast. Uh, yeah, kind of. I think it's a pretty good spot. There's some things that you could trim. And you talk about the ending here being too fast. I don't think so. Let me see your, your notes here. Um, so you might be worried that the end is too fast. So I'm going to look at this here. I was imagining all that. It feels like it's too slow. Like through this here, you can speed things up in terms of intensity of the, uh, what's it called? The fin wiggle and then like how it goes out and then flies out. Like all this, all this seems to be almost slow motion. So I think you're going, whoa, what is this? Whoa, what's going on here? And then like that, that type of speed. So he goes up here, whoa, what's going up here? Then not that fast, but yeah, much faster, much faster. And even this here, at this point, you're airborne and it could just be, you know, like that, hold and then almost being pulled down. It's, it's more stylized. Yeah, that's too slow. Uh, I'd be careful too with if you're grabbing this kid and you go from here to here, you can see how far the root is going, right? So from here to here, then <clears throat> this seems weird that he just drops down here. It feels like this, he would go, whoa, I mean, he would fall off as well. Um, you might have to put him, where is he? So if you speed this up, maybe he gets swung around during this, you know, as he pulls the leg back, which I think, again, I would make this all faster. It, it would swing him around and then he could be almost, I'm not saying like this, that he split out on the floor, but I think it would give you enough momentum to swing him around to be more here-ish than here. So that when you do this, again, whoops, <clears throat> that's a big move that that momentum has to carry over. And since he goes away from us, it feels like he's gonna swing over. So if you're if you're here, he could land just here, and he could have one leg down. I mean, you could just make it that he almost falls down as well. <clears throat> That'll be my thought on that on that section there. Uh, let me just play this. I'm gonna play this for people to watch like at the beginning while I'm reading your mail. So I definitely think that the kid moves too fast between 275 and 300. 275 and 300. So here. <laughs> I think it's super cute. No, I think it's okay. I think what you're reacting to is that he is in this pose. And then through all of this, he is in the same pose, which potentially might make it look weird to you. I like the timing of it. Because wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. I think it's cute. <clears throat> the way you can sell this is that if he's like this, and I will probably, on this step, also rotate the shoe around. So it's not that it's, you know, all parallel, but not so towards us. So it's kind of break his knee a bit. So just a bit three-quarter on, like, a little of a turn in the Y as you go backwards here. <clears throat> and then as he does this, so here, this makes a bit more sense eyeline-wise. But once he starts moving here, you want to keep going with the kid. And again, foot will be here, and he can be back here with a bigger C-curve. And you can, you can always bring arms out. Maybe he's holding on to his knee for balance. But I will make sure that you have a C-curve going back. Then as he goes back like this, you can try to get him in a bit more hunched position, a bit hunched over. He can still do this with his, with his arms. But I will get him a bit lower and a bit C-curve this way. A, that way you have a reversal. A, B, it looks like drag because he's so fast going back. And I still think the timing is cute. I would just make sure that the speed has an influence on his body. And then as you stop here, he just kind of stays put. And I think the way you can get around that speed change is because he is in a more of a C-curve, he would stop like this, overshoot a bit, maybe take a tiny step back, and then come back to what you have him in here. See this? You can use that forward move as the last thing of going back and then back forward. So speed back but with a bit more of a, an influence. If you go this way, he would drag this way, and that sudden stop has to be, you know, like a blah, 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 type of thing. Not that fast, but that idea of you're stopping. Well, something has to overshoot. It could be part of his hat. The flaps can go up, his arms can go back a bit, and his body could go back a bit 
this way and then come back forward the way you have it here. Look at the timing and whoa, whoa, whoa. no, I think that's super cute. Totally, totally love it. <laughs> Unless you want to have a different style where it's just a bit more realistic and not, not as zippy. That's totally fine too. As it is now, I like it and I think once you have something like this, it gives you the freedom to be much faster through here. And there's also something at the beginning that seems uh, too slow. Well, let me just go through your notes. Uh, his little legs just don't give enough spacing. That's totally fine. I think that's what makes it so cute. And the contrast, because you got those big steps, and then you got those tiny steps with him. I think that's that's great. Uh, you want to keep the timing is right and everything before I keep adding further overlaps and smaller keys. Totally understand. I'm just mentioning what I'm seeing. Um, as of right now, I still plan on having a mother character behind the camera, which is why he's winking towards the camera. High five, which is awesome. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I think you could probably have the mom here if this is your safe action safe. I don't know if she gets a bit too, it gets too crowded, you know, once you have it here and there's so much room. Uh, so maybe having her here might then be a better, <clears throat> a better idea. I was just thinking, sorry, just pause me not saying anything. <laughs> I was just thinking, could he have, because of that shape here, could he have a button that he wants to do for a little self-remote, for a little flash? Like, he, he takes a picture there. I mean, you know, again, I know with this shot, I keep saying things and throwing things out there, and then you have to do all the crazy work. Just mentioning this. A, a watch out, a little tangent there, a little overlap. You could potentially... Make that a bit cleaner with his arm. Not that he has to dangle down, but it could also be like this. You could also give him a high five like that. And then he puts his arms together like this. So it's just a bit more of a shape change. I mean, it's not too bad. Just kind of a slight tangent there. But it could be something where it could be cute. Like that. Hey, guy. And then I'm. that's my one pose. You know, like, hey, you're buddy. And this was awesome. Then change of pose to be crossed like this. And... It's just something about this shape because you have a fist already kind of that you could have the fist just a bit through here and then this big silhouette with the thumb going click and then you see a little bit of an exaggerated little movement. I know I know a camera wouldn't do that, but it would be cute, a little cartoony. And then with a little uh, flash, boom, and then he could have a little bit of a blinking because he's, he's been blinded by the flash. It could be kind of cute. <clears throat> or it flashes and he didn't look at it. And then he looks and he's kind of late. And then he has that kind of a, wait, what? What happened? And then he goes down and then he looks back down here. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm adding things. I'm just thinking out loud. I think it would be really cute that he does this. Flash. That way you don't have to animate another character. It gives less to do. Flash. And then he looks, looks over. Does this, like, wait. It's kind of bummed out. Like, wait, what? Picture without me. And then because he sees all that movement in his peripheral vision, it was it, through here, he would still look like this so this then he moves then he looks down right character moves here then he looks down and does all of that and you can do you could potentially combine that look down or maybe he looks first at his dad and takes a one little step over and i'm saying this only because of tangents and overlap although it's not bad it's not bad i was going to try to keep things clean i think it's totally fine but i think it would be cute that idea would be cute with the flash. That is totally subjective. You can do whatever you want. Um, but you are, you know, it's been a while and you're concerned about length and all that stuff. I'm just throwing out there that this might be easier, faster to animate than having another character do all the clicking and then keep alive. And then, I mean, she's going to have to react to this unless you have her really here and then she takes a step out. Maybe she's totally bored. She doesn't care. And just is kind of like a exaggerated, you know, wrist finger she's like this that's that's my human by the way uh, like a pff, click yeah whatever and then walks out she doesn't really care she looks at something else a magazine or whatever it is that could be an option but then you still have to animate a walk and everything that seems more than what i just said for the beginning anyway let me know i think that could be fun just giving this character also personality because of the flash of wait what hmm or he looks into the camera with him and then the flash he almost takes a step back because the flash was like a punch in his face like, oh wait oh, what happens anyway that could be cute just thinking out loud um but i've also been thinking about adding a clicker or something in the hand of the kid instead <laughs> i'm only now reading that part that's awesome uh yeah see well there you go 
there you go. We have the same train of thought. It could be cute with the kid. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you could. And then you could have him exaggerated. He's doing a click. And he can still have the blinking. You know, he's been blinded. Totally fine. And then that way, we, that will make it cleaner probably than doing it right here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. I love it that we did this together. Uh, and my final question about constraints. Um, I might just email you about that one. That's not something to talk about here. Uh, all right. So let me just go through other parts. This is all cool. That's all cool. So let me see. Just there's this section here. So you are pulling. Okay. As long as what I would do is <clears throat> if you go back with your root and you're not completely straightening your arms, which is fine because you're just kind of pulling make sure as you go into the detail that I would just start with going up with the chest a bit more, maybe with shoulders and just a little bit of straightening, not too much. And then the fish starting to move and then the root that he starts body first and realizes, Hmm, or you do a really, really distinct. Well, I'm going to go with back with my butt first, but then I would really straighten these a bit more. So it's almost like he anticipates that pull by, Going back with the butt, and then he pulls the fish towards him. I hope that makes sense. Um, just because right now it's a bit all together, and it makes it feel a bit light. So either you kind of go up with the chest, slightly more straightening in his arms, and then the root. It's kind of like, okay, pull, I need more, uh, with the root. Or I'm preparing, I'm going to go back with my butt, because I know it's going to be heavy, straightens, and then pulls him, pulls the fish towards him. I think that's kind of what I would do. Did you have fin movement already there? Oh, from there? Okay. So he pulls him towards there. That's cool. I like that he does that over there on his jaw. Okay, let me look at the timing. That's cool. Could be a couple frames cutting it out. I just still step, but. I got through there. Might be a bit too slow, this whole section through here with the fins unless you want this pause with this movement to show that it's already alive a little foreshadowing but this could be stuff where you can cut a few frames out and maybe a frame or two out of that once you're in spline and then he does this oh that's great i love this little adjustments are great yeah that's really really cool i love that he's not too hunched over too bad. I also wonder if you could. But you have his arms there. I just wonder if you have his body a bit higher. Bring his arm a bit lower. So you don't have to be that low with the head. Meh. That might just be me. Just trying to find a way that you're not constantly in this in this pose. You know what I mean? Like even in like maybe it's here. Maybe as you try to get up here. He's just kind of lifting up his head a bit more. I just want to make sure there's a breakup between the chest and the head. So you look at this. See, there's a lot of stuff here through all of this where this all feels like one unit. This is one thing pivoting off the root, going back. And I just want to loosen that up just a tiny bit more with the head. Let's go for the timing. Is it back? All right. Ugh. See, this move forward could be potentially a tiny bit faster. A frame or two. And it could just be through here to here. You know, for balance, he holds it and then quick and then slower to adjust. That's great. That's cool. Uh, I can still see like a frame or two out, but let's, let's get into spline and see how that goes. All right. This is a careful, because you're in step mode, this is a big move through here. Uh, that was it's gonna need more, some more breakdown. So right now, I know it's stepped and it's fast, but if I just generally look at the feel of the timing, just a bit fast. How you get from here to here? This might need a couple more frames added. Same thing here. If you do this and it's this big move, head drag, but then once you're up here, bring up the head a bit straighter. It's this big with a bit more. You know. So you know, again, you're not. Always in this hunched over, kind of head parented to the chest feel. I think you can absolutely drag it here, but then through all of this, I will bring the head back because he is kind of stumbling forward. 
And then as he stops here, you have then room to bring the head back forward for some overlap. <laughs> I love that dead fish. This. Ah, but wait a minute. You want the picture like this, not like that. Hmm. He just does a wink to his mom just because. Hmm. Let me know. See, now I'm totally... Yeah, I guess this is a better pose for them to take a picture. So wait, so he has this. Gets there. I have to say... I don't know. So you want this to be here and then the kid would do his clicker thing, huh? Hmm. Let me know. Let me know in the email what you want to do. For some reason, I was totally like into this because that's such a posed pose, you know? Like this could be cute. Maybe the fish would have just a nice little C curve there. So it's just not such a bit more posed out. And then as you drag it here, it would drag out into a straight, you know? I don't know. Let me know. That's interesting. I think this could totally work. But then you want, well, what is he going to do here? I think what he could do is this. Yeah, but then there's his pause. See, I'm totally wrong. Hmm. I don't know. I'm stumped. I was totally in love with the idea here. And then with the picture taking, how this would be a cute moment for him. It's kind of a character stuff, and then you become all physical. What you could do, after all of this struggle, you're going to hate me for saying all this. After all of this struggling, and he does this here, that pause would be him huffing and puffing, big cheek poses of, like, holy crap, this is heavy, right? He goes, oh, oh, oh. Man, that's heavy. Wait, what's going on? Whoa! Like, that could be something. Just throwing it out there. And then all those shenanigans start here. All that adjustment and the timing that we talked about through there. And then what about the kid? Pose, click, click. Hmm. What if not? Then you do all of this. Kid's looking. I think it's cute. Not quite sure what he's trying to do here. Like he's looking at him, but then this. Does he just want to get closer? I'm not sure if you need this, because then we're back to overlaps and hiding the kid's face, which I wouldn't do. Unless you have one expression, and then that wipe is a reveal for another expression. You know, I don't know if that cute little head up, just eyes, is going to be visible for such a short amount of time. Um, personally, I would just keep him here. And then as he does this, as he stumps forward, where is he? Like he's here-ish, right? So he's here. Put my finger there. And then as he stumbles, as he stumbles, right? Kid would still be here. And then he goes this way, you're that. And then the kid goes this way a bit more. Again, so he's not so close. So he would just be around here-ish. But even then, you could leave him. Put a little step to get into this. That would, that would technically work too. Get some pops around the kid. So we're saying that he gets to this here. This is me being old and forgetting all your previous versions. Yeah, yeah, I guess. when If he's just puffing and puffing, then this here wouldn't make sense. Like, why is he just suddenly get, getting to his leg? Hmm. So that means that we would have to do all of this, keep the way you have it. And then I guess through here, you would have this big... I mean, you could get a bigger pause, do the clicking, flash, and the flash is what wakes the fish up. Flash, right? He does the click, and then you got eyes opening and the tail then. That could be something too. Keep everything you have, ignore everything I said. Uh, and then you can still have a funny expression when once the flash happens. I'm just, I'm just in love with that flash idea and the kid's face reacting to it. But, you know, that could be a clean silhouette for him with a clicker. And then the flash would wake the fish up and then get back into this. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. And this bigger, bigger expression of kind of panic through there. So that at one point would be funny to kind of almost mirror the big eyes there. 
Whoa, whoa. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, even this right through here ish. Be a bit faster on him. It's all cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whew, that definitely ended a bit faster. All right, and that's kind of it. So, absolutely chaotic critique. <laughs> Let me know what you want to do with this versus this idea. Uh, I, I love it. I'm giving you so many problems. So yeah, other than that, it's it's super cute. I really, really like it. I think it's great. You're very patient with all the feedback, but I think it's gonna be a super cute shot and the kit is so cute. I love that high five here, it's great. Um, you do a high five, you can do a fist bump. What are you doing here? That's a high five, huh? Um, so yeah, let me know what you think and I'm gonna email you or reply in email form about your constraint questions. All right, thank you. All right. There's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.